Welcome back to Afternoon Express. You're live on SABC3 with us. As one of the original supermodels of our time, Helena Christensen is an iconic symbol of the 90s era. But age has done nothing to fade her beauty, allowing her to inspire us still today as the global face of NIMU skin technology. I was given the privilege of chatting to her at the NIMU Age Intelligent launch here in South Africa. Lovely to have you on the show. So it's not your first time in South Africa. What's it like being back here this time around? It's my second time in Johannesburg and I'm very excited about that because um, my first time was last June and I was really excited and surprised about how interesting the city is. Uh, as a photographer, I was very inspired and visited many places around town um, and took some of my favorite photos on a trip ever, actually. I did some um, portraits of people, and I have to say that the way that they dressed was a dream for me as a photographer, because the visuals just, it all came together. Wow. With the background, the lighting, you know, the natural lighting, the very cool street style. Yeah. I mean, I have never seen that anywhere else, so I was, so excited running around town <laughs> photographing and people were really um, nice and you know open to what's having their portrait taken because that can be a little intimidating absolutely both for me and you know yeah. for the subject now it's clear the way you speak about photography that it's certainly one of your passions and you were involved in photography way before you started your illustrious modeling career what is your experience of photography what makes you love it so much the actual way photography works uh, the very simple but also extremely technical and wondrous way that you click a button and then you capture a moment yeah. inside a little box. The fact that you can freeze a moment in life, that whole sort of mind-blowing idea to me has always, I think, been the driving force for my passion for photography. Yeah. And um, I'm very uh, inspired by light shadows and light and lines um, so composition to me is something that really excites me and i think i kind of look at the world as if i had a camera in my eyes i'm always you know seeing visuals in in sort of square parts and yeah. frames uh, and i don't know it's it's become almost second nature to me now i i really um feel uh, grateful that I have a passion in life that you know thoroughly thrills me and that is photography. How did you come to work with Nimue and what is your experience of it as a brand? Nimue approached me a couple of years ago maybe a year and a half and they you know asked me if I would be interested in collaborating with them but on a very sort of personal level where I was part of the brand in a in a different way, uh, which to me sounded like an interesting way of collaborating with somebody because it meant that I could learn a lot, um, have a learning experience uh, and sort of, you know, just widen my horizon, see it from a different perspective, the whole beauty product business. Mm. And so that was interesting for me, but what really um, made me realize that this was going to be different was that Nimue gave me products to test for almost a year before we sat down and had, you know, a very sort of a more precise meeting about what we were um, right. going to do together. Right. They wanted me to feel the product on my own skin and actually, you know, feel a difference. Mm -hmm. They wanted me to trust the product and be, you know, personally excited about it, yeah. which I thought was a really good way of approaching um, the whole uh, ambassador uh, yes. part for me. Because yes. if you know the product and if you know how it works and if you actually truly find it efficient, yeah. then speaking about it becomes a whole different thing, you know, it becomes more genuine and more earnest. So I thought that was a very cool way of um, starting out a partnership. You live and work in one of the most beautiful cities in the world, New York, but you also travel a lot. How do you keep fit and on top of your game while you travel? Well, I don't think I keep quite on top of my game, but I make an effort. Uh, well, when I'm 
stationed in New York, when I'm just at home, um, I actually uh, box the old-fashioned way. Wow. And uh, that particular form of exercise is extremely hardcore and intense, mm -hmm. which is what I want, because I want sort of like the instant gratification. Um, immediate result uh, and that is what boxing gives you so that I go and do probably three times a week when I'm home when I'm on the road it gets a little more difficult to you know <laughs> keep yeah. disciplined yeah and uh, I will t maybe just do a couple of exercises in my hotel room or if I bring my running shoes I might sprint Right. Um, in the nearest park. It's a nice way, a nice way to um, experience yeah. a new city anyway. Yeah. But you know, I'm not super disciplined, so I probably will just lie in my bed in the <laughs> hotel. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure talking to you. And you too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Elena is a truly inspirational woman and proof women can remain beautiful in all stages of their lives, whether they be a supermodel, super mom, or super CEO. Thank you so much for all your comments that you sent us regarding Seven Delan and their 4,000th episode. We asked you on social media, what would you like to see change in your favorite characters' lives? And uh, Mishka Anachos says, I want Jita to come back. Amory to start her own business as a young entrepreneur and work there as a chef, and Rikas to start his own tennis club, coaching kids to play tennis. Lots of love to the Seven Delancas. Mishka, it sounds like you need to be on that writing team. Renza Olivan says, I love every character at Seven Delan. They're awesome. Yesterday's episode was really surprising when the old characters were on the show. Can't wait for their wedding tonight. Um, Marianne Marvman says, I would really like for Willem and all the others that came last night to stay in the soapy. I cried last night when I saw them. Please can't wait for tonight and Dominique says they don't have to change anything they are amazing in every way lots of love to all the characters and can't wait for tonight's show thank you so much for all your comments after the break we're back in the kitchen with a quick and easy midweek dinner idea all of that after this <laughs> 